We're coming in on my leech flutter spoon too. So this video is from last Saturday. I don't know why I wanted to go fishing on Palm Tear Lake. I like the name of it. So I went out there and tried fishing and I shouldn't have drove out there in my truck because it's two-wheel drive, but I got out there fine to where I wanted to fish. But then I went to turn around and I completely buried it and spent like an hour and a half trying to dig my truck out. And then I decided just to drive my truck off the ice because I didn't want to deal with it this day. But there seems to be more snow on those lakes than the lakes I'm fishing on North Dakota or Lake Traverse or Big Stone. So anyways, here's my fishing. This video is going to be a doozy. We're on the micro bite. This little hook with just a little chunk of waxy is getting the job done. We might need to roast one over the heater for Logan. We're catching. It looks like it's cooking. I don't think I need to attract them in with something else. Oh, look at that sucker. Act all aggressive and tough on that. Heater catching cook. A really shitty heater catching cook. I think I should probably punch some holes somewhere else to see if I... So let's see how this shit tastes. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> so, we're set up in like 15, 17 feet of water in this deep bowl, but for some reason these dink perch are up right underneath the ice, and I'm they're nipping at my jig, but I'm not hooking them, so I don't know what's up. But you can see them just sitting underneath there. And when I tease them with the jig, they come up and chase it. But they're not really interested in taking it. Anyways, it's windy as can be. You see, there one nipped at my worm. Then this one will probably nip it to my worm again. Wow, look at what I caught on camera. I don't know why, I should probably put down a sucker like three feet underneath the ice and these dink perch are sitting out here. Or one of these. So, anyways, in, all the fish moved out from deeper, but in shallower, it looks like a fish tank full of baby perch. That one we might actually catch. I pulled it away from it. But... It's crazy how many little perch are here. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's windy as it can be. I'm trying to, the wind died down some, but I'm trying to bear the wind. And I drilled a line of holes from like three feet of water where I am now to 18 feet of water from my shack. I might move a tip up in inside of this hole over here and hope this other guy doesn't come out and get mad at me. But anyways, the whole width here is the only fish I've been seeing on the camera. That's why it's nice to have a, a reliable underwater camera like this Akio view to go with your Vexlar because sometimes you're marking stuff and it can be always something you don't want to catch. So you just got to keep moving. So hopefully you can see this. 
this. Hope maybe I still have to get this, but here's what the camera looks like. There's perch everywhere here. It's crazy. They're sitting underneath the camera. And so anyways, it's like six thirty now or seven. I don't I'm gonna fish here like an hour longer. If I don't get on any night bite, I'm gonna head out. This lake has sucked. I don't know whether it's a, maybe it is a night bite. Perch. We got a perch on the candy stop drink. I figured that was gonna be easy. This on uh, on this, this bike. On the fake spike. Did I lose the plastic? Here's the fake spike. Let's check the other one on it. Just for shits. So these last two perch are from a different lake. Anyways, on Ponder Tear Lake, I fished there for like six hours and I caught like five dink perch. It was really bad. And I had out a fathead minnow, I had out a sucker minnow. And the only other fish i seen besides dink perch was one, like, two, three-inch bluegill and one walleye that swam by on the camera, so I didn't see a whole lot of fish. The survey says there's quite a few walleyes and crappies in there, but I didn't catch them this day. And where I was at, there should have been crappies. That's why I stay after dark, and that didn't end up happening. They did mark a few fish after dark, but they didn't bite. They very well could have been baby perch because the aqua view actually helped me determine where the fish were baby perch rather than crappies because they were coming in like 10 feet up off bottom and I thought that's like typical crappies. I thought when I dropped on the camera they were perch so the scouting camera can definitely help you sometimes.